Can we also say how good the bottom of the bus looks? I'm so happy that's done. I'm so happy. It looks great. It's not perfect, but it looks great. So today we are going to be working on repairing all the holes, the big ones, um, as well as I got, I bought some more uh, polyurethane to fill all the small holes. Um, I actually filled the sides where the wall has a gap in between the floor and the wall with polyurethane, and it took a lot more than you'd expect. Um, it took about a full tube for each side of the bus. I didn't even finish this side. So I went along the wall here and I filled in this because there was an airspace and that's why the walls were rusting. They didn't rivet the floor to the wall itself. So I filled it in. Went very well. I also edged around a few things like the gas tank and spot right there and also uh, I got to finish this back piece right here. Also went around that light, went around some of the screws. Went along this wall and basically finished the interior of the walls, but right now... Okay, so as you saw I filled in the wall air gap that was in between the wall and the floor. It went really well, it seems to have sealed it really nicely. Um, as far as what I could research online is that polyurethane works really well for doing this type of thing and it will harden amazingly. Um, so right now I am trying to fix this hole in my driver's floor. As you can see it's massive and very weirdly shaped so I got some cardboard and I've been trying to make a template for it and I think I've just about gotten it. These parts will fold around the edge, this will fold around here. So basically I'm going to go trace this out onto a piece of metal. Um, and cut it up. So I'm also going to be using the metal that was already part of the wall and the roof and the bus because it's free and it's perfectly fine. Pretty much shaped it to the proper shape for the floor. Um, now I've drawn some holes on here and I need to drill out those holes because I'm going to rivet this to the floor because I, I don't have a welder. Um, so yeah, let's get to drilling the holes. Actually need to go run and do some stuff for the rest of the day so I am not going to finish patching any holes today but I pretty much just need to drill the holes and put it in uh, but I'm going to continue this video on until tomorrow so for you I'll see you in one second okay welcome back to the next day we are going to continue on with what we were doing now I've been drilling holes for the last what feels like 15 years but I believe we are ready to put this panel in finally. I probably went way over overboard with the rivets. I am not doing this many on the next panel. Let me just say as well that I am not a body repair person. So this is probably not the way you're supposed to do it, but it's gonna work. First, uh, we're gonna clean off the panel. We're gonna vacuum out all the metal shavings. We are going to sand it a little bit so I can paint it afterwards later and rivet it on. Let's do it. I'm so happy I can't find I'm so happy I can't find I'm so happy I can't find I'm so happy I can't find
Okay, so we have finished the floor. It's actually been another day of work. Um, I'm going to warn you, it does not look good, <laughs> but it's going to work. Um, I am not a welder. I don't really have any better way of doing this, and a lot of people recommend polyurethane to be a good option. So, oh, a little bright. Um, I'm going to take you in the bus, and I'll show you what it looks like. It still probably needs about another another day to dry, but keep in mind, this will be completely covered by the subfloor. Um, so yeah, it looks terrible. Alright. We've patched the floor right here in the stairs. I've pretty much applied polyurethane most places. So all the little holes have been patched in here. I've sealed the transition from the back floor to the front floor. Also put some polyurethane all along the back right there. We've patched some of the bigger holes with little pieces of metal. Um, the only things I riveted were the floor one and the very front one. Uh, all the other holes didn't really seem necessary to rivet. Um, Patch this hole with a piece of metal and a lot of polyurethane. Patched around the wheel wells with some piece of metal, pieces of metal and a lot of polyurethane. Inside the wall, as you already know. All along the outside of the wall. This hole, that hole. Hole, hole. Also did around here. Um, this I did not rivet either. So it just has a piece of metal and then a little extra piece of metal in there because it wasn't quite big enough. Um, so yeah, I pretty much just went crazy on the polyurethane because I don't really ever want this to leak again. And yeah, that's really it. Like, I just don't ever want it to leak again. So yeah, this is the end of the whole repair on the floor. I will see you guys in the next one, uh, which I'm going to start right now. So I'll see you guys in the next one, and we are going to start painting the outside of the bus. It's going to be great. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. This is the end of the vlog. Good night. 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 Good night.